enough is enough with the World Health Organization and their ties to the Chinese Communist Party and their lies. The United States, which means the U.S. taxpayer, which means you and me, gives $400 million to the World Health Organization every year, according to data from 2019. And for what? So the World Health Organization can tell us lies and parrot Chinese communist propaganda? World Health Organization official Bruce Alward hung up the Skype call after a journalist asked him about Taiwan. Why? Because the World Health Organization changed the name Taiwan to Taipei and environs to appease the Chinese Communist Party. Take a look at this. Would the WHO consider Taiwan's membership? Hello? We, with the, with the I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I couldn't hear your question. Okay, yeah, let me, let, let me, let me repeat the question. No, so, that's okay. Let, let's move to another one then. Right, because, because I'm, I'm actually curious on talking about Taiwan as well, on Taiwan's case. In other words, the World Health Organization erased an entire country because they were afraid of making the communists in China mad. The World Health Organization parroted Chinese propaganda about the contagion level of COVID-19 too and praised China for how they handled it. Al Word, the same guy from the video, sucked up to the Chinese Communist Party by saying, if I had COVID-19, I'd want to be treated in China. Well, China has plenty of urns to go around. After lying to the world about stopping the virus, China suddenly distributed about 40,000 urns with the remains of cremated people believed to probably have died from COVID-19 but we'll get to that in a moment. The World Health Organization has also been flat wrong in their health recommendations. On January 14th, the World Health Organization tweeted, there is no clear evidence of human to human transmission of coronavirus. False. On February 7th, they claimed masks don't necessarily protect you. False. On March 23rd, they warned treating COVID-19 with hydroxychloroquine could cause a drug, drug shortage. False, the free market fixed that within a week. And yesterday, the World Health Organization doubled down and said, we stand by our recommendation that you shouldn't wear a face mask unless you are sick or caring for somebody who is sick. How does that make sense? If it's good for sick people to prevent them from spreading germs, and if it helps medical personnel from contracting the virus, why wouldn't it help everyday Americans not spread or catch the virus too? The World Health Organization is lying. The scientific studies show face masks work. The World Health Organization is telling you a lie. And we know China lied. They lied about the virus itself. They covered it up last year when they knew about it, maybe as early as October or November. The Chinese Communist Party disappeared a doctor who revealed publicly that she was told by Chinese authorities to hide the virus. That doctor is gone now. She used to be the head of emergency at Wuhan General Hospital. Her whereabouts now are unknown. The Chinese Communist Party also disappeared a billionaire businessman from China after he criticized President Xi Jinping how the president was handling the coronavirus. Then via the Chinese state-run media, the Chinese government is threatening to withhold medical equipment and medication from the United States if we dare to crack down on their illegal behavior in other ways. And they still lie about the number dead. And yet, the World Health Organization keeps choosing to side with the Chinese Communist Party rather than tell the truth. The American people should demand better because it's our money that pays for the World Health Organization and it's our security on the line if the Chinese Communists spread this virus, lie about it, and then cut us off.